Hello, this is Brian from Grid Connect, and I'm going to show you a basic tutorial on how to set up a Net232 with Device Installer. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Device Installer, and click the search button. If more than one device shows up in your list, what you can do is look at the MAC address sticker on the back of the Net232. Ours ends in 6D, so we're going to go ahead and click this one. Then click the web configuration tab, and then the go button. The Net232s come shipped with no username and password, so we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to set up an IP address for the Net232, so go ahead and click the network tab here. As you can see, obtain an IP address automatically is the default setting. We recommend that you statically assign an IP address for the Net232. Um, if you have DHCP automatically assign an IP address, it could eventually change the IP address every now and again and could cause the Net232 to not work. So to prevent this, we statically assign an IP address. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Then the subnet mask, the default gateway, and then the DNS server. You can get this information um, from your local IT administrator or you may already have it yourself. Uh, you can go ahead and keep auto negotiate checked and then click OK. Next thing you're going to do is set up the serial settings. Now because this is a basic tutorial, uh, most likely your default settings are going to be this. Uh, with your protocol as RS-232, your baud rate as 9600, 8 data bits, your purity says none, your stop bits are 1, and your flow control is none. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here and apply settings. Now because this is a basic tutorial, um, if you need more advanced settings you can consult your manual for that or call us and ask for technical support at 630-245-1445. Uh, check back for more tutorials on GridConnectTV at YouTube.com.